Wherever you go, if you travel to Iran, you know who lives in the ghetto? The so-called Negro that was taken there in slavery. Bring it right. up. Wherever you go, the black man is on the bottom of society. Right. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Alright? Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. Because God didn't give these commandments to just anybody. Right. God gave these commandments to a very, very special people. Well, you know. Alright? Now, if that people does not keep God's commandments, are they still considered to be special? No. Because God's commandments make them that people. Read you this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. Bring you're just out. like everybody else if you're not keeping God's commandments. I'm right. talking to the Israelites, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. right. Come on. But thou art an holy people. Thou art what? An holy people. Thou art a holy people. That means that you're a people that has been set apart by the Most High God. God says that the so-called Black, Hispanic, Native Americans, all right, are not on the same level as all the nations that's on the earth. Right. All right? In this society, there's never been equality. Right. The black man is on the bottom. Right. Wherever you go, if you go to Chesapeake, guess what? The black man lives in the ghetto. Right. He's Teacher. on the bottom. Right. If you go to Norfolk, guess where the black man is? He lives in the ghetto. Bring it He's up. on the bottom. Right. If you travel to Chicago, guess what? You know who lives in the suburbs? Mostly, it's not the black man. Right. You understand? It's the oppressor of the black man. Bring it out. That's who lives in Chicago. All right, wherever you go, if you travel to Iran, you know who lives in the ghetto? The so-called Negro that was taken there in slavery. Bring it out. Wherever you go, the black man is on the bottom of society. Right. There's no such thing as equality in America. Right. All right, in this caste system that we live in, all right, guess what? The so-called white man is always on the top wherever you go. Bring it on. And the so-called black man is always on the bottom. Bring it on. All right? But it's okay because guess what? With God, there is no equality either. Bring it on. All right? God says something very peculiar about the position of his people on this earth. Read right. you got. But thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee. My sister right here. The Lord God, thy God, says he chose you and your people, come on. To be a special people. How special, come on. Unto himself. Unto himself, come on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above and not below. You understand that? That's not equality. All right, God didn't say that he made the so-called black man, he made the Israelite, all right, to be on the same level, to be equal, all right, to the so-called white man. God didn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible doesn't say that God made the so-called black man to be equal to the so-called Chinese man. The Bible doesn't say that. All right, if the Bible said that, then I would teach it to you. My brother, let me ask you a question. You right here, let me ask you a question. All right, because most of our people out here are fighting to be equal. But God never said that we were to be equal to anybody on this earth. Right. Come on. Above all people that what, are above. What's our position supposed to be? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's what God says. I didn't write That's this right. book. All right, this is the Holy Bible that we're reading. The right. Holy Bible does not speak about all God loves everybody and all nations are equal. All right, the Holy Bible doesn't say that. Right. All right, it's not there. It's not written. Psalm chapter 147. All right, verse 19. Yes, my sister, my sister right here. Come over here, we want to talk to you about the Bible. You got a minute? Come on over here. We reading about the Bible. Read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147. I want you to hear what God said. We're reading the Bible right here. I know you believe in the Bible. You look like a God-fearing woman, right? I know you believe in this holy Bible. All right, read what you got. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Wait, you know? do you go to church? Do you go to church? 
Do you go to church? No. Do you go to church? I can guarantee. Have you ever been to church in your life? Have you ever been to church in your life? Yeah. Okay, I can guarantee you when you went to church, your pastor never read you this scripture. Read it again from the top. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. Read it. He, he showed his word unto Jacob. This is the Lord speaking. He said he showed his word unto Jacob. Come on. His stature. Wait, do you know who Jacob is? Do you know who Jacob is? Do you know who Jacob is? All right, Jacob was the son of Isaac. Abraham had 12 sons, right? Or Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had Jacob, right? Jacob was the son of Isaac. And Jacob's name was changed to Israel. You understand? Jacob's name was changed to Israel. Israel had 12 sons. We come from one of his sons. I come from the tribe of Judah because my father's a so-called American black, right? What's the nationality of your father? African American. So you come from the tribe of Judah as well. That's right. These are things that the education system right here in Hampton is not teaching us. I, I went to school in Virginia Beach and Norfolk and Chesapeake. None of those cities taught me. You understand? What's your father? What's he? Uh, so called black man, white man, Af African American, uh, Puerto Rican. What's your father? What nation is he from? Say it again? Jamaican. He come from the tribe of Benjamin. This is a Benjamin sister right here. You understand? That's one of the sons of Jacob. Bring it up. You understand? You come from one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Listen to what the Lord says about Jacob. Read it again from the top. He showed his word to Jacob. Come close, my brother. We're reading scriptures that your pastor never read to you before. Good. Right. Read it again from the top. He showed his word unto Jacob. I thought God gave his Bible to everybody. I thought God gave his Bible to everybody, sister. Bring it out. Read it again from the top. He showed his word unto Jacob. I thought God gave his Bible to everybody. Isn't this Bible for everybody? Isn't that what we were taught? But that's not what it says. That's not what it says. Read it again from the top. He showed his word unto Jacob. God showed his word unto Jacob. Come on. His statutes and his judgments. All his statutes, all his judgments that you read about in his Bible. Come on. Unto Israel. Unto Israel. Oh, That's bro. us. We come from the 12 tribes of Israel. I oh. come from Judah. You come from Benjamin. She comes from Judah. We all come from the tribes of Israel. Right. You understand what I'm saying? God gave this Bible to our people. Read on. He have not dealt so with any nation. Wait, read that again. He have not. Did you hear what the Bible just said? Did you hear what it said? It said he have not. Come on. Dealt so. He has not dealt so by giving his Bible to all of the nations. Right. Come on. With any nation. He ain't dealt so with any nation in this world. Right. Hebrews chapter 3. We're showing you scriptures that you've never read before. But I know you got a Bible at your house. I know you got a Bible at your house. You may not go to church, but do you got a Bible? Do you got a, you got several. You see that? Most of us, you know what? Most of us have what on our phone? Most of us have what? We got the Bible app on our phone. So we walk around with it everywhere we go. But we never read this scripture before. Bring it out. Hold on read it. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. This is what God said. Come on. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. To this word that God spoke to the children of Israel. Come on. Against the whole family. Against what family? The whole family. My sister, this is talking about the family of Israel. Come on. Right. Which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Lord delivered a nation from the land of Egypt. Come on. Saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. You hear what the Bible just said? I've only known who? You, the Israelites. That's it. You understand? You're holy people. Come on. Just that out. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. So now we're being punished for our iniquity. You know what iniquity is? It's sin. Very good. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.
salvation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.